Welcome to another episode of Blackwater Fly Fishing. I'm still a little, I'm still a little bluegill fishing today. I'm out here at one of the little local spots. I'm gonna cast a, a I'm gonna be working with a little uh, imitation of a bully spider. A black and chartreuse little bully spider. It's got a little wire on it, so it's gonna be a slow sinker. So they should be hitting it on the drop. Got the three weight, three weight rod made for small fish. The biggest thing about fly fishing is presentation, how you drop the fly in the water. You know, you wanna you want that fly to just basically kiss the water, just barely land in it. Best way to do that is have a little extra line where you where you want your fly to land. How about another foot of line? And what you do is right when that line's about to hit the fly's about to hit the water, let go of that extra foot. There we go. Got one. Got one. Just slowly dragging it across the slowly dragging it across the bottom there. Nice little bluegill. Nice little bluegill. Beautiful little bluegill. I mean, I'll tell you what, there's nothing finer. Nothing finer than fishing for bluegill. At least in my book. He and he and hell, that's why I gotta get my, uh, I get my hemostats out. Very, very necessity tools, a little hemostat, man, for getting them flies out. You can debarb your hook, make it a little bit easier on them. I debarb this book a little, a hook just a little bit. It's got a little bit barb on it. But that's it, man. That's uh, that's what it's about right there. Getting out here, catching some bluegills, having a good time, not watching Fox News. No bullshit, just fishing. There we go. Out here doing a little fly fishing today. Got a little imitation of a bully spider. Little uh, black and chartreuse bully spider. Uh, a little wire wrapped around it, so it's pretty much a slow sinking fly. Very successful little fly. Like I said, it's not really much to it. It's just a little black Chanel. I got some uh, little, uh, that right there is, is uh, I think that's um, peasant tail or something like that, or not peasant tail, it's ostrich or something like that tail, but green chartreuse. A little jiggle on the water. A little jiggle makes them go crazy. And I'm just, I'm just stripping it on the bottom, man. Just watching my line, because when that line, when that line jerks, that means that they, uh, they, they pretty much attacking it. Like I said, you add that little extra foot of line, and uh, the the fly lands softer on the water. 
on days like this where the water's clear, you know, you can always add another foot, maybe foot and a half of liter on your line. And that, uh, that way your line's not good. Bluegills are not so, not so much spooky, but bass, bass will spook if they see that line hit the water by them. Boom, there we go. And that's what it's about. Nice bluegill. I got nice bluegill. Nice bluegill. Yeah. Nice little bluegill. Tell you what, man, <laughs> life's a lot more, life's a lot more enjoyable when you're out here fly fishing and uh, not paying attention to politics. That's, uh, I can promise you that, bro. Keith said I'm gonna bring me a rag. I keep forgetting to bring me a rag. <clears throat> but you keep that extra foot of line like that when you when you're right on the pitch, you let go, boop, and it'll, it'll slop and land. Now when you're fishing with a popper or something like that, you, you kind of want it to pop the water. That way it'll get those fish attention. Little wind's picking up. A little bit of wind.
Oh, got one. He, he picked it up on the on the when I went to get it up and pull it up out the water. Sometimes that little bit of extra movement, man, just uh, makes them makes them take the fly. Beautiful little bluegill. A little tricky to see if they hit your line when the wind's blowing like that because you don't know if it's the wind straightening your line up or is the fish holding the bait. Oh man. Oh. I got a little bitty booger. I was hoping to catch a bass over here. Sometimes I catch a bass in some of these areas over here. That's a little booger snipe, bro. Look at that one. There we go. You always got to check your fly and get all the grass and stuff off of it because you get fish like Sackley and stuff like that, bro, and they'll see all that crap on it and, and they will not hit it. Another one. Another bluegill. Oh yeah. Blue spider got him. Blue spider tricked him, hook. Oh, a little slimy bugger. Bruh. Come here, you little slimy bugger. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he just had it. He was just holding it in his mouth there. Yeah. Oh yeah. You see, he had he had upset the hook way too late on him, bro. Way too late. He done inhaled the fly. He done swallowed that fly. can't do too much fishing this morning I got an impressive honey do list I gotta get done you know what I mean Mucky is happy wife happy life come on buddy let go of my fly let go of my fly Oh, he hit it, but I didn't set the hook. Oh, got him at times. <laughs> I should be fishing my little ultralight ride. Uh, <clears throat> three weights pretty fun, but a one weight's even funner with a, with the, with these little bluegill. Nice little 
little boogie. <clears throat> Are they hungry, bro? They inhaling these flies. In your mouth, bro. It's like take the fly out. Right. Quick hold in your mouth. Easy, easy to get out when you debarb that hook a little bit. Beautiful bluegill. Uh, it's a good day. How's that song go? It's a great day to be alive. I'll stick to fishing and forego the singing career, I guess. Mm -hmm. do some squirrel hunting. I was watching Tim Former Country Kitchen, him cooking squirrels, man. He done got me oating some squirrels. Tree rats. Tree rats and dumplings. That spot right over there looks like it might hold a fish right there. Bloop. Bloop. I got a little bass. There we go. Yeah. Look at that hog. <laughs> oh man. Beautiful little largemouth bass. Oh man. Yeah, buddy. Oh man. I've been I've been wanting to catch one of those before I left today. Looks like I got one. Beautiful little chunker. Look at that, man. Pretty little specimen of largemouth bass. I wish we had I wish we had smallmouth bass here in Louisiana. I wish we did. I want to try to go up to North uh, Louisiana, go up there and fish Six Miles Creek and all that. I heard we got some uh, some different variety of bass up there. So you got a smooth tongue. That's how you know he's a, a largemouth bass. If he had a sandpaper tongue, sometimes they got those little Kentucky red eyes. Go ahead, little fella. <clears throat> sometimes it's funny. My wife will text me sometimes. She's like, are you fishing today? I'm like, yeah. She's like, you're good, because I was concerned there wouldn't be nobody out torturing the fish. 
I'm like, I'm not torturing them. Stuck it pretty hard, man. You can only tell when a bass hits it. The bass don't play, man. They they take it and go with it. Oh, what's that? Blue, bluegill? Yeah, bluegill. Yeah. Little bluegill, little bluegill fishing. Yeah. I know a lot of people, they give me crap on my channel. Like, you don't catch a big fish. I'm like, it's not about big fish. I've got videos of me catching big bluegills on my channel and keeping them and frying them and stuff like that. I enjoy fishing. If I catch fish, that's a bonus, but man, I enjoy being out fishing. I know plenty of people that went out and bought $60,000 bass boats. Oh, yes. Yes, he stuck it, man. Oh, uh, yeah. He hit, it, he hit that pretty hard. It was like a nice little gill. Yeah. <clears throat> Curious, would y'all like to see different angles of me fishing? I mean, would, would y'all be interested in seeing like a camera behind me or a camera on the side of me catching side footage as well? I thought about maybe uh, buying another um, GoPro and, and catching some uh, footage on the side, but you know. But that'd be cool. I'm uh, I'm not sure if I'll ever do the drone footage. Though it would be cool though having a drone, huh? Anybody got any drones they don't want? <laughs> I might get me a drone for my birthday. <laughs>